All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're answering actually a very common question that I get, which is what is the best fig for containers or the best fig variety for pots? If you're gonna grow them in pots, what varieties should I grow and what do I recommend? And it's pretty simple. There are three varieties I think are just simply more productive than other fig varieties. One is Ron de Bordeaux, Villa de Bordeaux, and Martinenca Blanca. These to me seem to be overly productive varieties for pots. Now, some people recommend growing dwarf fig varieties in pots. And I have to say, the slower the tree grows, the more difficult and finicky your tree is gonna be. It's gonna produce less fruit. The fruit quality is gonna be lower. It's gonna have more time and more difficulty establishing in that pot. So the best thing actually is to grow a faster growing fig variety. And all of the fig varieties back here that I have in pots on this property grow faster and will produce a lot of high quality fruit because of that. They're just, I think, better suited. So the idea that you want a dwarf fig variety, I think is just generally wrong. The only benefit a dwarf fig variety has over a faster growing one is that you don't have to root prune it as often. But again, I don't think the benefit of that outweighs the negatives. So personally, I think it's a marketing gimmick. Again, stick with faster growing varieties. Now, what if you live in a really rainy place or what if you have challenges growing fig trees? You have a short season climate, Maybe you wanna focus on the Brava crop. Maybe you want an early ripening variety. Maybe you need something that's rain resistant, humidity resistant, rain resistant, all that good stuff. Uh, well, then you have to choose a specific variety and I would focus on the varieties meant for those places because although Ronde Bordeaux ripens early, it's not very rain resistant. So it can do really good in those short season climates, uh, but I would still recommend other varieties over Ronde Bordeaux in a rainy place. The reason for that is because often it can split. If we get a lot of rain, which we've had a really dry year this, this season, we've gotten really lucky, um, then you're not gonna really have a lot of love for Ron de Bordeaux. Your tree might produce a ton of figs, but they're not gonna taste very good. So quality over quantity is something I always preach, especially because the best tasting fig is the one that is the most ripe the most consistently? Or is the highest quality the most consistently? And if I have to pull off a Ronde Bordeaux off the tree that's split in the first day or two of it ripening, because then some rain's gonna come in, well, it's not gonna be a very good fig for me to eat and I'm kind of wasting my time growing it. So in my opinion, that's you know, something you gotta pay attention to. I have a whole list of fig varieties that are suited to humid climates. I'll put that link in the description. I have a whole list that are suited to short season climates, so fig varieties that ripen early. And then I have a whole list of varieties that produce high quality Breba in pots, or generally produce high quality Breba. But the thing is with Breba, if this is really something you're focusing on, the first crop of figs, then you probably don't even wanna grow them in pots. I'm sorry to say that. Now, I've had some fig varieties that produce some nice Breva in pots. Prosciutto, um, Italian 258, Villa de Bordeaux. So it's not like you can't grow them in pots, but I would highly recommend to get the quantity that you want, I would highly recommend uh, growing them in a larger pot, as large as possible, at least a 15 gallon, but I would go even higher, maybe even 30 gallons up to 55 gallons, that's gonna produce a really big fig tree with a lot of energy, and they're gonna have the energy required to hold on to those bravas. That's something we learned this spring with my in-ground fig trees. So highly recommend that, um, but generally wouldn't recommend growing them in pots for bravas. Again, if given the option, I would always grow fig trees in the ground over growing them in pots. But again, if you're gonna grow them in pots, the best fig trees we talked about are typically the ones that are gonna be the most productive. Martinenca Blanca, Violet de Bordeaux, Ron de Bordeaux. These three fig varieties seem to produce fruit at a higher quantity than other varieties. 
and it seems to be by a pretty significant margin in some cases. Um, and of course, if you want quality and you want to focus on quality over quantity, you have to just choose the right variety specific for your climate. You live somewhere hot and dry, focus on the ones that taste the best. To me, that's better than growing a bunch of Ron de Bordeaux's that maybe are, well, they do taste great. So I can't say that they don't taste good, but certainly if I had the option, I'd grow, you know, something like this, which is a Col de Dom over here, over a Ron de Bordeaux in a place like Southern California or West Texas or Arizona. So I'll put the link to all these places that you might be growing figs in, and you can find out all the lists to the different um, places that you have and the different varieties in the description. Thanks for watching this one, guys. We'll see you for the next video. Hit the like button for me. Hit the subscribe button and uh, have a good one.